Park. I'm with Jimmy and it's new kit day. Sun's out. Let's ride some bikes. You look ridiculous. <laughs> like good ridiculous if or bad Banana ridiculous? Man had cycling kit. Shout out for all the traffic here. Yeah. Are they actually cars? Oh, there's two cars. The I Olympic know. Park, the only place in the world as quiet as Valencia. <laughs> I guess because you've been in the sun so much lately, you, this feels cold to you. It does, it? yeah. This is basically summer. Why? This goes into a staircase, so we might want to be careful. Considering you are the matching man today, yeah. we found you some extra match to match with your match. Here's some match, you could disappear if you take your gear off. Why are you taking your bib shorts off, Francis? For fuck's sake. You, on the other hand, I don't match this at all. No. I don't match it, then our theory is doesn't work if I don't match this. Oh shit, I mean, you totally <laughs> complement it, yeah. Tiny polka dots all over it. Yeah. You didn't think of that, did you? No. I think we take a picture of you without your gilet on, standing next to this and see if it'll if you'll just disappear or not. So we're using today to try and find some locations, take a few photos outdoors of the new kit, because yesterday was all inside the studio. What better wall to take photos of the teal? Oh, I found the hottest place in London as well. Is it whatever this is reflecting the sun, which is there, which is not that hot. This is the, the Olympic swimming pool as well so like think of the energy which is coming through the glass at us from and the sun this like well like a thing in between two hot things like bread in a toaster like one of those ones at hotels you know when you put it in it's got the heat on the top and the bottom and it goes really slowly and it, mm. you and me switch it up and try it on I'm not really sure why I chose the fixed gear bike today. Yesterday was supposed to be an easy ride as well, but I ended up riding really hard. You just can't help it sometimes, especially now the weather's getting a bit better. I can almost taste summer, and I saw some sort of clickbait article that there's going to be a heat wave that's going to last three months. I believe it when I see it, but kind of living in hope. Ooh. Mate, the Olympic Park. Yeah. How many miles can you do around it? Because it's an awesome place to train. Is it as big as Richmond Park, sort of round? Uh, no. Oh, well, it's, it's hard to say because there's lots of like figures of eights yeah, and things it's like not, that. It's, there's not a clean road around it, and there's weird like road furniture and stuff. And because they're building on so much of it, like some of the roads just get closed. So we did. Have I ever told you about the loop? The loop. Oh yeah, you've ridden the loop road, haven't you? So there's like a circle you can do around um, the swimming pool bit. Well, we've, we we probably have ridden it before. A section of that is now closed until 2022. Oh great, so you've lost a little training loop. Yes, but it was such a good one as well. It was so good. But there's other loops you can do, but then there's tons of traffic lights. If they if they planned it properly, got the traffic lights nailed, I don't know, maybe put some like more, some better cycling infrastructure, you'd probably be able to do like a five or six K loop hmm. with probably a couple of little, a little like, not, I wouldn't say, you know, not climbs, Climb. but like um, a, a slight elevation, a few me meters raised where you could put like a little, a little thing into it. I would go as far to say that it's got less traffic than Richmond Park as well. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's empty, like, isn't it? Like, well, the, the, the through roads are busy, but then there's loads of like roads off the sides of those that are just dead. Little yeah, interval session. Well, I, I have a, a long-term dream, which I don't think will ever happen because there's too many parties which would say no. It's got the makings of a fantastic crit, crit circuit. Um, or I guess, you know, there's a canal. Can you, can you, do, can you do a triathlon and get a swim in a canal? <laughs> I suppose there's a swimming pool, but... Iron Man London. Yeah. Is that a th No, that's not a thing, is it? Quick swap. Swap, swap. You can ride that instead. I think this is like a Boris bike scheme for around here. Yeah, because no one's gone and picked it up, have they? We've been uh, here for an hour. Do a thing on an app and then beep it and then you can just... It's, it's like an electric one. I thought they were illegal in this country. People in Valencia were riding the scooters around in the bike lanes. I think it was a bit annoying, to be honest. I've also seen Lawrence ride a scooter. Is it an e-scooter? This is an e-scooter. It's basically like I a... I don't know, it looks silly though. It's like a motor scooter. Where did it go? Oh, just there. This is such a weird place, mate. <laughs> Why do you live here? Great access to the velodrome, which you don't use. Yeah, well, we use the outside circuit. We're going to race it, me and Emily, this year. Uh, not crits, though. Uh, Lee, Lee Valley... The TT? Yeah, the Tuesday 10th. Oh, nice. I'll come and, I'll come and watch. Why do you come race? Oh, uh, hmm. Left, left, left. 10 mile effort. Easy. Well, that's your fun fact, isn't it? I thought you'd sold that. Oh, the bike? Yeah. Oh, no, not yet. It's, it's in kind of like half. It's in bits. I haven't had the time, so... so Is that the one you've replaced it with? Yes. So that's nearly finished. 
that's quite that's, cool. Once that's finished, so Billy's gonna finish that off for me because he's a lovely guy. It's fucking light, man. It's so good. Uh, eventually, uh, that'll be stripped, and I'll will actually sell it. So if anyone wants a weird purple, what's weird about it? It's, it's got like the, yeah, that's weird. It's got the best paint job of a, on a bike ever. There's the one that you hate. Oh yeah, that one's shit. Are you just keeping that forever with the dent in it? Well, I think I um. I saw this thing where you can like cut some bits off and then put like a light in it and then it like sticks out with like and then it's like a lamp. <laughs> Is there anyone out there that can do something with wrecked alloy bike frames that does something good afterwards? I don't know, turns them into water filtering device, I don't know, some mad shit like that. You look like you're about to go on a school trip, Jimmy. Also your helmet's not done up. Dangerous! It's actually getting a little bit chilly now. I'm gonna head back to Jimmy's to get changed and the sun's not out, it's horrible. We're getting two burgers. You're getting two burgers? I mean, it was a pretty big ride we did today. <laughs> it's my kind of ride. What do you want? Two burgers. Okay. There's been loads of good feedback from yesterday's video. Good. But there has been a question. And the question is, what size do you guys wear in the kit? And what's your height? I'm excited about the new additions, but I live in the US and don't want to risk getting the wrong size sent all the way over here. First part, what do you wear? I wear a small in the Atka stuff. I'm just over 5'8". Medium to skinny build, I guess. Medium cyclist, skinny, real life human people can see you in a picture they know what kind of size you are yeah your non-stage height is five foot six and you're about 73 kilograms is that right uh what you, you weren't actually that wasn't going in at first <laughs> you got a chart on the website before the new kit goes live there will be size charts for all of the new stuff from this year which is the broad range basically it's for men it's chest and torso and for women it's bust waist and hips potentially you'll be between sizes so if that's the case, either make a decision based on how tight you like your jerseys to fit. Ultimately, they're both going to fit, um, but one is going to be slightly slacker than the other. Go for the aero one. Well, it's, I guess it's slightly, it is definitely meant to be sort of skin tight, but it depends how you prefer it. You know what I mean? Like some people don't like it kind of like tight that's around pretty, their bellies yeah, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. The other thing you can do if you're still unsure is just send us a message. So I guess we're in a privileged position that we have a male and a female on hand and can kind of direct you in terms of sizing. We know our model, our manufacturing model so well now that we can just like, it's really easy for us to work out what size someone is based on some more information. And if that fails and you buy the wrong size, then give it to a friend for Christmas. At the same cost you paid for it and then buy another one. <laughs> It's I not a very nice kit. I'm going to be hanging out in the week a lot more with the guys from Atticus. So if you have any questions about the kit, put them in the comments below. Obviously, we did the whole photo shoot yesterday and there were a few comments there. Put some more if you have them. People have shown an interest in finding out more about us, our background, how we started the business, uh, some of the stuff we've been up to, perhaps stuff that we've got going on in the future. Um, Why are you swatting flies? So I just put, just put questions. Questions. Any, questions. Yeah, if you want to know anything else other than kit. Orchid. I mean, relatively, <laughs> yeah. Emily's head or my ear? It's me. <laughs>